founder of King Street Ventures, and I am here at the beautiful Uber Villa in Cannes with my good friend, Michael Ackerman, who is the GM of advertising for mobility here at Uber. So, Michael, hello, good to hello. see you. Wonderful to see you. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about customer centricity and uh, the role that Uber plays in that. Because, you know, you've, you've got people that are on the go all over the world today and, yeah. and you know so much about them. So it's uh, you have all this incredible contextual data on uh, it must just be a goldmine for marketers. Uh, yeah, so I think, you know, the the data is, but I, I like to think about the data, that there is a human behind that. And when you think about it, we understand and we have this really great picture of their lifestyle, how they choose to, to go around the world, what they choose to eat. And from that, it allows us contextually to be able to give them really relevant and personalized experiences. And I think at its core, like anytime you can surprise and delight the consumer, it ultimately is beneficial for all parties. And that is our goal. We have 130 million monthly active users, 23 million rides a day. And with that, the goal is to say, great, as we scale and as we make sure that we put the, the consumer at the center of everything we do, how do we create really engaging experiences? And then uh, obviously from my position, how do we allow brands to be part of that conversation, a natural extension of really giving value back to the consumer uh, in and above the utility of getting them from A to B? Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. And I was just going to ask you, there's been a lot of partnerships that have been being announced. Uh, yeah. it's in, every time I look at uh, a new publication, there's another announcement of uh, Uber's over here or launching something there. Uh, tell me about some of these new formats and uh, kind of your overall strategy, because I, I noticed you're getting into video, for example. Yeah. So uh, I think it's a great question. And I think all of us who have been in advertising or marketing for a really long time would say it takes a village to raise an ad platform. Or a villa. Yeah, or a villa. <laughs> and so specifically, like for us, we we really want to tap into the strength of the broader advertising and marketing community. And that is both on uh, our brands and the partnerships with advertisers directly, with agencies who are really key to all of the relationships we do, as well as other partners, both on the technology side, as well as on our different fulfillment side. Video for us is a natural extension, especially on the mobility side. You know, depending on the market, on average, people might be in an Uber for 15 to 20 minutes. That's a wonderful uh, canvas for which we can go and, and bring brands into the conversation. And the natural extension of where it is today, which has been a, a static creative, is being able to move that onto video. And again, enrich further what, what the consumer experience is and what they think of between Uber and the brands that we bring to bear for them. Wow, that's so powerful. And um, what's an example of a company, a brand that has just been like crushing it on Uber? If you would, uh, if you could just give us an example. Yeah, I think like there, there's a lot of brands that are really leaning into thinking about Uber as an ecosystem rather than def like specific different surfaces. Um, and I think one that comes to mind right now is Coca-Cola. Uh, and they are leveraging a new ad format we have, which is an actual playable game. It's an engaging gamification within the, the Uber ride. And what that means is not only is it a brand new content and context experience for the consumer, but it also allows them within the journey ads to cross pollinate into Uber Eats and be able to drive actual uh, uh, purchases of their product together with other partners that they have on the restaurant or the merchant side. And so when you think about that, that is really taking the full power of what Uber as an advertising ecosystem can do and bringing it to bear for the value of the consumer and the brand together. And really what sets journeys apart, correct me if I'm wrong, from say other formats is you have that trip intent. You know the context of the individual. So you know if they're going to a concert, or if they're going out for the night, if they're coming home from work and they're you know needing to order some food on the way home. And uh, so that just is such an incredible uh, goldmine if you know how to unlock it. And the idea of, of, of leveraging that experience to, to play games or entertain is, uh, is also just such a smart, such a smart idea. Thank so you. Michael, look forward to 
see hearing more in the future. I'm sure there'll be a lot more to come after this. So, yeah. Michael, thank you so much for having thank me you. here. Your villa is beautiful. And uh, yeah, yeah, everyone come visit. Awesome. Everybody stop by. Yeah, you, yeah. you heard him. No, we'll just let him right on in. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank All you right. so Thanks much. Thanks a lot, Michael. Yeah, Take care. Thank see you. you too. Bye.